Hey everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artisan Power here, and in today's scroll saw project video, got a nice little fun time springtime project designed by Steve Good. Spring is right around the corner. We're in the first week of March, and that is awesome. Spring is one of my favorite times of years because you get to see all the flowers bloom and the trees bud out and everything, and hear birds chirping. I've got birds chirping out in the trees by the shop, so that is awesome. And speaking of flowers, that is the subject matter of the project. Steve Good designed this pattern and it is flowers in a vase. It's got some great detail. I already have the pattern printed out and attached to the wood with clear packing tape and the material is half inch thick and I am using more of the ambrosia maple that I used in the let's go fishing piece here. Everyone really liked it and it liked how the spalton went through it so I hope I get some of that same characteristic out of this project and I know I will out of the base. This is a leftover piece and then I think I'll have used up all of this um, but I know the base will have some of that great characteristic in it. We're going to cut this down on the table saw to make a base for the project to stand on. But what we're going to do now is move the camera, head over to the drill press, and drill our pilot holes so we can start scrolling. And over here at the drill press, we're using a small drill bit to drill all of the pilot holes for internal cutting. I think it's around 15 or 20 internal cuts on this project. And then we're going to move over here to the scroll saw and start scrolling. I'm using number five ultra reverse sharp tooth scroll saw blades and they are cutting the ambrosia maple exceptionally well. Just a little bit of a slower cut because the wood is of a harder variety of wood species. But just taking my time with each internal cut. As I said at the beginning, this is a Steve Good design, and if you would like to try this project, you can download the pattern for free over at Steve Good's scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com website over in the free pattern catalog. Just going through here and getting all the internal cutting done. This was only my second ever project with the Ambrosia Maple and I really enjoyed working with it. Now going through here and getting the final two internal cuts done so we can move to the final outside cut which will release the piece from the wood. And the final outside cut is a very long continuous cut. And you see me there lubricating the blade with just an ordinary bar of soap. The bar of soap has lubricating properties that helps prolong the blade's life and reduces burn marks around the tight corners. This is one very long continuous cut. Just take your time with it. Let the blade do the cutting and just guide it through the wood. I really like this pattern. It reminds me of both of my grandparents. My grandfather always had plants in a garden outside in the backyard. And I remember helping him in the garden a lot as a kid. Also, my grandmother always had plants or herbs always in the windowsill in the kitchen. So, I really like this design. Made me think of my grandparents, so I had to cut it out. Coming around the last flower here, and then we will go around the outline of the base. And when you get to the bottom of the vase, it's crucial that you stay as close as you can to the line. If you get a little bit off, you can sand it flat, but that is where you will glue the piece to the base. There you see me lubricating the blade again with the soap, and I have no set rhyme or reason for doing that. I just do it whenever it feels like it needs it. It's basically one of those by-feel things that you just learn throughout time. Cutting the bottom there and coming up, and then we have to go around the other side of that one leaf and 
all the scroll work will be done. And now we'll head over to the workbench and remove the piece and it's very fragile. And measure for a base and do a simple cross cut over on the table saw. And I did turn the saw off before I picked that piece up. And now over at sanding and using a very, very light touch and I sanded more off camera. And over here, back at the workbench, you see me doing a little bit of final sanding. And I had to cut a little strip of wood to go through the base to give it some purchase for the clamps to hold the piece in place while it dried. But I let it dry about an hour and came back and removed the clamps and the project was complete. And here we have the completed springtime flowers in the vase. I think they look extremely well. I got some of that nice spalting in the front and in the back of the piece. So that really adds character to it with the ambrosia maple. The base has got some beautiful spalting on it. Here's a nice look at it. I think it turned out good. All you have to do is clear coat it and the project will be done. Stay tuned to my Instagram page to see a picture of the completed piece. Um, one thing I would love to see someone do with this, if you are good with the resins and the epoxies and all, is the base has a visual water line in it for the water for the flowers. Maybe put some blue resin in and maybe put some yellow resin in here on the flowers itself. I think that would really give it a nice added character. Um, this project is extremely fragile. The flowers move, the leaves move when you wiggle them, so be careful when sanding. I didn't put a lot of pressure when I was doing the palm sanding, and I took special care when I sanded it more off camera with sandpaper. But here is another look at it. I think it turned out real good. Thank you, Steve Good, for an amazing design. Springtime flowers. Spring is right around the corner, guys. That is about all for this video. Remember, if I can make it, so can you. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care, and I'll see you guys real soon.